All right, let's, uh, let's, let's talk about pleasant things then. World Cup soccer, big deal lately. People are really into their World Cup soccer. Wow. I can't believe that got spontaneous applause. Uh, no, a lot of people have been getting together, maybe some of you have done this, to have parties uh, to watch a World Cup game, sometimes really early in the morning because of the time difference. That's actually when most of the parties have to happen. Well, um, I heard about everyone having these parties, and I wanted to get in on all the excitement and have a party of my own. So I threw a World Cup soccer party, and uh, I thought it'd be really cool to invite uh, Max and Joel, our announcer, uh, over to my apartment to watch the Brazil versus Turkey game. And uh, we took a lot of pictures while this party was going on, and I just got the, uh, the pictures back and, uh, from the developers, and I thought, you want to see these? This is a cool party, and I thought, okay, it's good. Uh, this is fun. I, I woke up at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. I was, I was pretty tired. Uh, I was drooling. Uh, Max showed up. He was also pretty tired. Um, I showed Max I was rooting for Brazil. Max showed me he was rooting for Turkey. I said, wow, how funny, a turkey rooting for Turkey. <laughs> Max was too tired to get mad. I was too tired to laugh, and uh, we both fell back asleep standing up. Uh, we woke up, there was a knock on the door, and it got us up. You can uh, And, uh, yeah, that's a good camera. Uh, it's digital. Uh, anyway, it was our announcer, Joel Goddard. He showed up. Yeah, he was, there he is. He was happy. Max and I asked Joel what team he was rooting for. Joel said he was rooting for the New England Patriots. <laughs> Max explained to Joel that we weren't going to watch American football, that we were watching World Cup. So Joel decided to root for the USA. <laughs> I explained to Joel that the USA had already been eliminated from the tournament. <laughs> so Joel decided to root for nobody. Saving that one. Uh, so anyway, I gave Joel one of my favorite T-shirts to wear because I wasn't, I wasn't going to be looking at that all night. And the, uh, the T-shirt fit him perfectly, uh, which was nice. Now, since the game started so early in the morning, we decided to eat breakfast before the kickoff. Joel brought coffee. Max brought the bagels. And I filled an old soccer ball with cream cheese. <laughs> Now, in order to wake up, we started drinking coffee. I mean, we drank a lot of coffee. And so, naturally, we all got pretty wired. I've actually seen that painting in a motel. Uh, now, uh, now, Max must have been really wired because he kicked the cream cheese. And it landed on Joel's head. Now, to take the edge off the coffee, we immediately started drinking beer. I mean, we drank, we drank a lot of beer. I'm talking a whole lot of beer. And uh, by, the, uh, by the time the game started, I was pretty drunk, I got to admit. <laughs> Yeah, Max, uh, Max was so drunk, he kicked Joel's head thinking it was a soccer ball. And Joel was so drunk, he didn't even care. The game started. I got really excited when Brazil scored a goal. Or did I do an Irish jig? I don't know which one. Either way, I was happy. Joel helped Max and I reenact the play. That was a lot of fun. Then I reenacted the Yorick scene from Hamlet. Then we all reenacted the Hindenburg disaster. Those were good times. Oh, I can't believe that really happened. Suddenly, we, we remembered it was time to watch our favorite show, SpongeBob SquarePants. We actually got so caught up with SpongeBob, we missed the rest of the game. 
Then suddenly, there was another knock at the door. It was my paper boy, Steve Perry of Journey. That's what he's doing now. I said, hey, Steve, there's something about your career in the paper today. It's in the obituaries. Yeah, so Steve Perry uh, made me eat the newspaper. Max then said I deserved it for talking that way to the legendary Steve Perry. Then Max said Steve was not only his friend, but the best bassist foreigner ever had. Which got Steve mad, so he made Max eat a newspaper too. Suddenly we realized we'd missed the end of the game. I hadn't seen that at the end of any games, but anyway. <laughs> Even worse, we'd missed the end of SpongeBob SquarePants. But nobody really seemed to care. We got to spend the morning together, and that's all that really mattered. Wasn't that happy? Curry's <laughs> a good guy. That was a good time. All right, we'll tell everybody we